All right, let's watch this. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Chipotle in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. Gouda? Wait, I'm saying it right. This is a UK chicken burrito. We've also got some black beans, some white rice, some lettuce, cheese, sour cream, whack as well inside. We're gonna measure the length, the... I don't wanna say girth. You're gonna have to say girth, I'm gonna... Oh, man. There's gonna be a lot of girth in this episode. Game face. We're gonna measure the length, the girth, and... Yeah, what are you, what are you... What are you, a child? You can't say fucking girth, bro? What the fuck? What is this? What is this uh, British disposition here? Oh, I can't say girth. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, woo. It's too embarrassing to say girth. Say it, motherfucker. And the weight of this burrito. Girth! So our burrito is seven inches long. I have the same burrito Harry has right here. Well, not the same one, the same order. I don't know where the burrito ends and the tinfoil begins. So I'm kind of eyeballing it. Looks to be about uh, between seven and a quarter and seven and a half inches. A girth of 10 inches. It has a girth of... <laughs> I promise I'm a professional. It's circumference. Girth, really? Going all the way around. Almost exactly 10 inches. Burrito is a 10 if you're uh, thinking about uh, making it a tux. And finally, it weighs more than, more the, than the skin. <laughs> this isn't even the big boy. I don't know why they don't fucking just uh, like have better scales. No, I, I don't understand. Bro. Hey. Told you guys to get a new scale. We got a new scale. Bear with us. So we're gonna weigh this burrito half at a time to see what the total is. Half one, three ten. And then this one. Plus I'll get we'll get the scraps from the plate. So combined, the two halves of our burrito weighed 597 grams. Chipotle's burrito order weighed man that's hefty that is a hefty boy in the uk we can also get our burritos in bowl form this bowl contains the same ingredients as our burrito but obviously without <sighs> just get to the point dude i want to know how much e coli am i getting if i eat chipotle at uk versus the amount of e coli i'm getting if i eat chipotle in america that's what i want to know that's that's the shit i want to know about you know what i mean like Come on, motherfucker. Let me know. The tortilla wrap. Let's weigh it and see what it measures up to. So this one came out to pretty much exactly 500 grams, which even with the bowl factored in is like 100 grams less than the... Yeah, they fucked up Tony, so dude. So this here is that same burrito ingredients. Okay, in I gotta pee. Form. I'll be back. Please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell. 30, 30, 30, 30 ones. A regular bag is roughly 41 chips. Now let's count the large. Coming up on a year, Dad. 75, 76. Straight up, Chipotle chips are probably the best thing in comparison to everything else that they have. Like, they got decent burritos, okay? They got decent burritos. Let's be real. Uh, it just like, kind of depends. Usually the, the quality of the ingredients is, like, high enough that it's delicious. But as far as, like, the chips goes, I think their chips are probably... Their guac is really good and their chips are really fucking good. You live in California, what are you saying? Uh, I'm comparing it to the rest of the planet. I'm not talking about just California. In California, there's uh, a lot of places that have great chips. Fellow virgin here of the GTA streams, brother three, you're one of the best streamers. Anyone who says you live in LA, taco trucks have better chips is just wrong. Like, you're just wrong. Taco trucks notoriously are fucking hit or miss with their chips. Some of them are really like almost sour. Some of them are fucking soggy. Some of them are sour and like not uh, tasty. You're literally wrong. Like <laughs> you're in LA. Look in LA, like certain things you get in Los Angeles are going to be fucking good overall. Right? Like usually the tacos that you're going to get, you get tacos. Like they're probably going to be above a six. They're going to be six plus no matter what. I love walk. Taco truck worship is white guilt. <laughs> True. Um, I'm also a I'm also a truther. I'm a I'm a big fucking uh, flour truther. Like I think uh, flour uh, tortillas are better than corn. 
It's just my personal preference. People get very mad at me. Look, I, I don't have I don't have any like uh, white guilt in that respect. I just straight up think flour tortillas are better. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think it's crazy. I think people people straight up are just like uh -huh, it's more authentic when it's corn. It's like nah. Straight up, I think flour uh, tortillas are better than fucking corn tortillas, corn based tortillas. Nearly double for the large bag of chips at Chipotle. Very nice. In the UK, we can only get one size of guac on the side. It's supposed to be four ounces. We're gonna measure it to check if that's the case. Ours was just shy of four ounces, so pretty much right. The guac in the US, of course, comes in two sizes as well. And I'm gonna weigh them just to make sure, just to keep them honest. I don't know how much the measuring cup is, so it should be over four ounces of anything. 3.75. Bullshit! That's, that's including the cup. Which I knew it. Not eat. Skimping on the guac. These motherfuckers always skimp on the guac, and you have to fucking pay extra for it. It's bullshit, dude. It's absolute bullshit. It's such <sighs> a scam. Don't act like 0.25 ounces isn't that much. If it's not that much, then put it in there. Eight o zers. It's a little over seven. Zoom in on that. I want to shame these people. Shame on you, Chipotle. You're already charging us extra for it, and you're also just not giving us as much as we pay for. Tisk, tisk. And finally, we have tacos. Oh, hell yeah. When we looked at the menu, they were only available in a portion size of three. In the UK, this taco is six inches in length. We got a veggie taco, which includes guac, salsa, sour cream, cheese, fajita vegetables, and black beans. Fucking vote, oh, motherfucker. There's 22,000 people in here. And we haven't even cracked a thousand in the fucking uh, polls in the in the chat right now. Guac versus corn tortillas. I want to hear. I mean, listen. There's a lot of white. Uh, there's a lot of white boys in this uh, community, so they're probably gonna go with flour. Just kidding. All the white boys are gonna try to overcompensate and be like, "Oh no, I like corn more," even though flour tortillas literally are a part of Mexican cuisine as well. But hey, it doesn't matter. At a U.S. Chipotle, you can get tacos in orders of one, two, or three. This guy's falling apart. It's a six-incher. And, of God, course... God, that looks hurt, dude. I did not get a vegetarian taco. This one has meats aplenty. So it has different ingredients than the one that they weighed, making this weighing completely arbitrary. Now this is the biggest burrito you can get at a UK Chipotle. We chose chicken as the base, but then we added every other meat as an add-on, and we've also got all the vegetables and all the sauces. They were a bit reluctant to make- This is literally what I do. This I is- the, actually they got Also, the, the other secret, the other secret is uh, when you, um, holy shit, after I said that, hella people voted. Uh, flour tortillas is 63% with 3,494 people voting. Corn tortillas at 37% with 2,000 people voting. Flour tortillas uh, win. Um, so the other thing, what is the, like, like the secret item, which is like a quesadilla outer shell, basically when you make the outer shell into a quesadilla and then wrap it around as a burrito, a quesadilla seems to not be leaking. So good job guys. This right here is the biggest burrito you can get at a Chipotle in the U S yeah, so big. Months. In fact, I named it the big boy. Got that? Fantastic. Okay, what's in it, you ask? Well, it's a carnitas burrito with double carnitas. And we hate it when you guys ask ricola. for it. Of course it's double wrapped because it has Yuck. guacamole, white rice, fajita veggies, black beans, queso blanco, uh, mild tomato. I actually got all the salsas, uh, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. This runs about $18.20 in the U.S., models. which is about you did 13 pounds and one, two, 16 months. shillings. This burrito sent me back 16 pounds 75, which is around $22, which is quite expensive. You're looking at kind of 2 pounds 70 per meat you add in. So honestly, if you're looking for just quantity for lunch, it's probably cheaper to just get two single burritos. Now it's the same length as the other burrito coming in at seven inches, but you do get one extra inch of girth. And as we all know, a little girth. <laughs> As we all know. <laughs> Say it, bitch. <laughs> now I will measure the length and uh, thickness of this one. Almost nine inches. Okay. It's about eight and three fourths. Yo. That's this guy's a lot thicker. So that's about 11 and a half inches of thickness. Much bigger. What about the calories? 
Well, this is the most popular burrito from Chipotle. It contains eight ingredients. Chicken, white rice, black beans, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, fresh tomato salsa, and lettuce. Tomato salsa. 1,320 calories, 540 of which are from fat. It does contain 2,610 milligrams of sodium, which is 113% of your daily allowance. And in the US, that same burrito, according to Chipotle, is the exact same nutrition and calorie count. They use the same smallwares and sub, utensils sub, sub. to make the burritos in the UK as they do in the US, so everything should technically be the same. That's what their PR people told us. And hey, if you can't trust uh, major conglomerates PR people, who can you trust, right? And if you got that same order in salad form and didn't put rice on your salad like a maniac, <coughs> that would bring this calorie count down to about 800, and it lowers the sodium. Low key is like it's uh, nutritious and uh, filling. I, I used to eat that as like my um, my diet meal, basically. It's only 1,520 milligrams, or 66% of what you should have in the day. Chipotle also gives you the option of having their vinaigrette salad dressing on the side, which adds 220 calories. It's also not it worth. Back up over a thousand to 1,020 calories, and bumping up the sodium to 2,327 milligrams, or 101 percent of your daily. Basically, it's liquid salt. It's what the jeez. It's not it's good. That that sauce course. is not good, and it's not worth. That loses you 320 calories, bringing it down to an even 1,000. Now it's only around 40% of your daily caloric allowance. It still contains 1,855 milligrams of sodium, however. In the UK, a side of chips is 540 calories. Same with our regular chips here. Now, if you upgrade to the large, that's going to be 810 calories. If you were to enjoy these with a side of guac, that's an extra 230 calories. Now, if you wanted to upgrade to the large guac, that's gonna be an additional 460 calories. Now, Chipotle as a brand prides himself on being quite a healthy option and not using too many artificial ingredients. In the US, they actually make a big deal of only needing 53 ingredients across the entire menu. However, in the UK, when we totaled up all of the ingredients, we found 67. So as you all know, if you watch Food Wars, that's kind of unusual that there's more things in the US than in the UK. The only ingredient in the US Chipotle that gave me a bit of pause was something called gypsum. Gypsum is also known as calcium sulfate hydrate, right? Okay, and Chipotle uses that in their tofu process when they separate the chunks from the liquid. Gypsum is also found in drywall, chalk, and shampoo. Of course it is. Now, does the gypsum In born baby ye. In vegans, dude. Fucking vegans, dude. Literally eating drywall, oh my God. Stay in the tofu, or is it just used for the separating purposes? I don't care. I'm never getting tofu from Chipotle. Put the beast back in front of me. <laughs> Let's look at some ingredients for the flour tortillas. In the UK, the tortillas contain fortified wheat flour, which is wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, water, vegetable oils, palm oil, rapeseed oil, wholemeal flour, salt, and raising agents, sodium carbonates, diphosphates, and malic acid. In the US, our flour tortilla only has four ingredients, wheat flour, water, canola oil, and salt. That's it. Huh. Now I know how Joe feels when we film pretty much all of these episodes because it's not very nice to have that many things in your food knowing that the other side doesn't. Like, why does we need it but they don't? It's weird. Now, given the fact that we have way more ingredients in the UK than in the US, it does beg the question as to why the calorie count for the tortillas is the same. We did reach out to Chipotle for an explanation, but unfortunately at the time of recording, they hadn't got back to us. Besides the tortillas, a lot of the other fillings in Chipotle have pretty similar ingredients lists in the UK and the US, maybe with some minor differences in the spices used. For example, the chicken in the UK is flavored with chicken, water, chile de arbol and jalapeno, cumin, garlic, oregano, black pepper, sea salt, and sunflower oil. Whereas our chicken is chicken, obviously, water, chipotle chili, cumin, garlic, oregano, black pepper, salt, distilled vinegar, and sunflower oil. All words I can pronounce, huzzah! Our guacamole is pretty simple. It only has six ingredients. Avocado, red onion. I mean, I, this makes sense. Like, <laughs> if it wasn't for the fucking E. coli that you could potentially get from Chipotle or the food poisoning, uh, it honestly is pretty solid. Jalapeno, citrus juice, sea salt flakes, and coriander, which is what we call cilantro, and we're definitely right. U.S. guac is very similar. It's Avocado, cilantro, or coriander. That guac has been sitting for a while, though. This shit's like browning out already. Or whatever it's called. Uh, jalapenos, lemon juice, lime juice, onions, and salt. A serving of white rice in the UK is made of long grain white rice, bay leaf, sunflower oil, coriander, citrus juice, and sea salt flakes. And our white rice in the U.S. contains white rice, 
bay leaf, cilantro, lemon juice, lime juice, rice, bran, oil, salt, and water. Finally, our Monterey Jack cheese contains milk, starter cheese culture, sea salt flakes, and enzymes. I don't know which enzymes, just enzymes. The concept of enzymes. Whereas our cheese contains cheese curds, nope, cheese cultures, milk, salt, and vegetable rennet. Rennet? Rennet. I don't know what that is. Gypsum is the traditional coagulant in Chinese tofu. Making fun of it is food chauvinism. Okay, motherfucker, like, I'm a food chauvinist then. Like, what, what is this take, okay? I'm, yeah, well then call me a food chauvinist. Here is everything you will only find on the menu. 100%, I was gonna say they have beers and fucking shit. Like, they're gonna have, in the UK, they're gonna have beers, they're gonna have fucking wines. Like, everything's a pub. In the UK, everything's a fucking pub, if you believe in it, you know? With a little bit of, um, with a little bit of, uh, flavor. Everything can turn into a pub, Rob. At a UK Chipotle. And these are all the US exclusive items at Chipotle. Now we only have one exclusive food item on the menu in the UK and that is the protein pump bowl. It contains rice, a double order of chicken, some lettuce, some salsa and some cheese. This first one right here is the Whole30 bowl for those of you on the Whole30 diet. In the middle, cheat sheet number two, this is the Paleo bowl. And that is a chicken salad with guacamole, uh, lettuce, Massive. fajita veggies, chicken and the medium green salsa. And the last bowl over here is the protein pump bowl. It's got all that stuff in it. This right here is Chipotle's queso cheese, not available Try in the UK. In West this is literally Sinai. only in existence because of Qdoba, okay? Qdoba had one thing over Chipotle, and that was their motherfucking queso, okay? So Chipotle saw this and was like, oh, we are not letting that happen. What are you, fucking crazy? You think we're gonna allow some other fucking uh, fast food chain to, you know, outdo us. No, fuck that. Boom. Immediately they start making uh, What queso. is the story with this? They figured out a way to make natural melted cheese. And I got to tell you, this stuff is really good. Yeah, oh man. Like their queso was trouble. I love that stuff. It's really good. A protein that you can get in the U.S. is carne asada. You can get that instead of the steak. And cauliflower rice. Now... There was no cauliflower rice available at the Chipotle's we went to for this video. But besides that, I went ahead and made a US only Chipotle taco. It's just a queso and carne asada taco. I figured a burrito of just carne asada and queso is a little ridiculous. This is like what I would have gotten when I was in the seventh grade as a kid. Just like melted cheese and meat and nothing else. So here we go. Yeah. And then I love the queso, it's incredible. Carne asada is really good. Chipotle also has a children's menu. You can get two tacos or quesadillas. I was surprised to learn with the tacos, for the kids meal, you get one meat and two toppings. That yes, kids are picky eaters, but only two toppings, mom and dad? Only two? Also comes with your choice of chocolate milk or apple juice. What we lack in exclusive food options and in fountain drink, we really make up for in cans and bottles of drink. So we'll start with these things over here, which are Tenzing brand natural energy drinks. Kind of like- Bro, who the fuck's like, yo, let me get some energy drink and this, uh, for the side of my fucking, uh, you know, is Chipotle Chinese. bowl. That's, that, I will never understand that. Like, who in their fucking right mind is like, Oh, straight up. Let me get some fucking energy beverage uh, with the side of my food. Zoomers? Want a red that shit's so weird, dude. Just drink like fucking regular Coke. Energy drinks for energy drinks only. Bowl slash coffee, but you don't want the guilt associated with it. Then we have this very fancily named Fentimans, which is kind of like a sparkling water flavored with elderflower. Personally, not a huge fan of elderflower, but some people are, and that's okay. Next, we have this turmeric and mango nourish from Humble Warrior. Next up, we've got these cans of dash water, which I think they're just water that's kind of lightly flavored. Again, we have orange juice, we have berry set go, and we have wonder green if you want something nice and healthy. Chipotle's kind of gone for a fancier vibe with these by the looks of things. These are all kind of the fancier brands. At the end of the day, they are kind of just sodas, but they're ones that are just a bit more upmarket than you might normally find. A personal highlight is that Chipotle in the UK sells San Pellegrino. I don't know if you guys have this in the US, but it's basically like a brand of sparkling fruit juices. Uh, I really say. love their lemonade. It's like really tangy and acidic. And then finally, if you want to, you can finish off your meal with a beer.
I mean, this guy literally does resemble like the type of person who would fucking have, who would have like a a, a soda or a sparkling water with a that's tangy that comes with like a fucking paper. Like that shit is so extra, dude. Like it's in a can, motherfucker. Like what's this extra fucking paper that you have over the can? You know what I mean? Sir, because I, I think is similar to Mexican Coke and just made with regular sugar. Would you like a tortilla chip? Yeah, that's the thing. Like most, most places yeah, in the world. Sense. Yes, of course. I've watched Pengus Munch before. Uh, before. Most places around the world, the Coke that you drink is just Mexican Coke. 